What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. Back with what I'm hoping is the first in a series of videos about bringing character creator files into Blender. So as a lot of you might know, character creator is a tool that's specifically designed to help you create 3D characters. It helps you create very detailed characters. Um, there's a lot of different things you can edit and things like that, but then you can also export those files and bring them into Blender using the importer tool. So I'm super excited to talk about this, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, if you want to download character creator, so obviously Character Creator is a paid tool if you are interested in um, giving Character Creator a try. I will link to that in the notes down below. But um, I will say that it's probably the first tool that I've used that actually makes character creation feel like accessible. So anyway, I will link to that in the notes down below, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, and so I thought what we could do for this video is just show you how easy it is to create a character inside of Character Creator and then bring it into Blender. We can talk more about this in the future. I'd love to hear if you're interested in that in the comments down below. But for now, let's just kind of take a look at this. So I've started with one of the base meshes in here, and you can jump over into your modification settings under the morphs, and you can adjust us things about the character. So for example, things like the size of the skull, so skull height, um, skull width, other things like that, these are all fully adjustable. So you can adjust things like the head, you can adjust, so you can adjust like length of arms, so how muscular the characters are, you can adjust like size of chest, so scale, other things like that. And you can do some really interesting things with this, by the way, you can kind of take this over a little bit so if you, so if you wanted to like over exaggerate some things to make some more cartoony style characters there's things that you can use in order to do that as well but you can adjust things like the abdomen waist the abdomen scale all of that this is really the first tool that i've used because i'm not a character guy right i haven't done a ton of character um modeling in the past but this really makes the whole thing feel kind of accessible to me so that i can actually do something with it so there's some other tools in here which we can talk about in the future but like for example the headshot tool allows you to actually bring in an image and actually create a character based on an image that you bring in so you can use it with pictures of really pretty much anything Thing. So I've done it with myself, um, other people as well. So you can really do some stuff there too. But then even bringing in like clothes and other things like that is really easy as well. So if I was to bring in some jeans, for example, maybe, maybe a shirt, maybe a coat, other things like that, it's just really easy to bring these things in. So we could also bring in some shoes, for example. And, you know, since we're here, let's go ahead and let's add some hair as well. So I'm going to go to the Beard and Brows Builder, and I'm just going to bring in a beard, as well as we'll bring some hair in. So nothing too complicated, just something like this. So now we've got this character in here. Notice the level of detail that this is in inside of Character Creator. But now what we want to do is we just want to save this. So we're just going to save our file. All right, so we've got our character complete-ish. Uh, we'll call it good for right now. Like I said, we can talk more about character creator settings in the future if you're interested. But what I wanna do is I wanna export this to um, a file that Blender can import. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to File, Export, and you wanna select the option for FBX Clothed Character right here. Then from there, you wanna pick in the drop down. you wanna make sure that you select the option for Blender right here. Um, and what we want to do is we want to check the box for max texture size, and you can make that texture size whatever you want. Anything from 256 to higher, I'm going to set it to 2048. You can also set the pose that this character is in. Um, one thing I kind of skipped over is if you do mesh and motion, then that's going to bring in different frames of characters for like animations. We're just going to do the mesh for right now. I'm going to set this to A pose. There's one other setting that's really important down below called delete hidden faces. So if you don't check the box for delete hidden faces, what can happen is you can bring this into Blender and the character's skin is going to show through the shirts and other things like that. So what we want to do is we want to check the box for delete hidden faces right here. Then we're going to click on the button to export. We're going to click on OK. I'm just going to export this and I'm just going to call it Caleb 2. All right, so then... Um, and notice this is on the Character Creator Blender page, which I can link to in the notes down below. But what we want to do is we want to jump down, and there is an option down here under, where is it? It is under the Auto Setup for Blender EV Render. And what it says is with the help from the CC3 Blender tools developed by Victor .supde, um, you can import these characters with full material settings. That's what we want to do. 
So um, there's just an option here for download. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna take us to a GitHub page. In the GitHub page under code, you wanna click on the button for download zip. That's gonna give us something that we can install inside of Blender. So then we'll jump over into Blender and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do an edit preferences. And under add-ons, we wanna go find that file that we just downloaded. So we're just gonna find that CC3 Blender Tools add-on and make sure that we enable that right here. And so when we've installed that add-on, that's gonna show up over here on the right-hand side of the page. We can import a character using the add-on. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we import the lighting information right here as a part of our import. We're not gonna worry about physics for right now because we're not animating anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on the button for import character find your character and just double click in order to bring it in. It's gonna take a minute to do that because it's gonna um, build the mesh and also the materials and everything like that. So we'll give this a second and then we'll come back and we'll take a look. All right, so if we take a look at this character, notice what this has done is this has brought in our character completely textured and ready to go. So if we click in here, right, and we look at this, first off, notice that the lighting that came in is from character creator right? It's got the lighting set up from Character Creator and everything looks really good in this mesh. So if we zoom in, you can see how the level of detail is just excellent on this, on this model. So this is a really easy, fast way to create and bring these characters in. One cool thing about this is this also gives you the ability to adjust materials and things like that when they're brought in. It makes everything way easier than it was before. So for example, if we jump into our material parameters, notice how we can come in here and we can actually adjust things about this. So for example, if you look at the nose and you adjust the nose scatter scale, notice how this looks different depending on which way you adjust your slider. So what that's going to do is that's going to give you the ability to keep adjusting the way things look in your model from character creator. So notice if you select something like the hair, for example, um, if you want to like change the color of the hair, for example, there's an option in the base color um, that's going to allow you to enable color. So if you do that, what that's going to allow you to do is that's going to allow you to adjust the color of like the roots or the ends of the hair using sliders over here. So you can adjust like the global strength in here. Then you can adjust this. So notice how I can adjust the color of the hair using the color sliders right here. You can also add things like highlights. So for example, if I wanted some blue highlights in here, I could just set this to blue. Notice how if I adjust the start, that's gonna let me place some highlights in the hair. So obviously this allows you to create highly editable characters really quickly um, from Character Creator to Blender. So if you're interested in Character Creator, I have a link to that in the notes down below. Leave a comment below, let me know what kind of tutorials you'd like to see for Character Creator and Blender. Just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.